So, Spartan Zero has been out for about a month now, and with that, it has gained a lot of controversy. Now, the thing people been talking about the most is the gameplay and the competitive side of the game, which are both toxic, I ain't gonna lie. Recently, Spartan Zero has had a tournament. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I have no idea what the rules are. I wasn't paying attention. I just know it was just a competitive tournament. I don't know, I don't keep up with the game competitively. I just play casually. But supposedly in this tournament, there were some players that was taking advantage of the game and playing it in like a very toxic way. So I just wanted to see for myself. I just wanted to make a little discussion video, view the clips for myself and just talk about it. So we have this clip from the dramatic showdown. Now I'm keeping a buck. I just said, I don't, you know, I don't keep up with the game competitively. So I wouldn't know the name of this tournament, but supposedly in this tournament, there were two players in the grand finals, by the way, you see that grand finals, they're playing very toxic. So I just want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Just drag. Yeah. Dashing up and down using Android 19 or 20. My bad. Switching into 19. Yep. Yep. And as you can see, they're not really engaging at all. They're just flying up and down, you know, not interacting at all. And there was multiple people that was doing this, by the way. It wasn't just these people in the grand finals. I, supposedly, there's a lot of people doing this. And uh, I ain't gonna lie, by the looks of it, that's kind of cheap and kind of boring. If I was in the grand finals, if I was like spectating the grand finals and I was watching this, I'd be mad. I ain't gonna lie, bro. And I feel like I'd get ripped off and scammed because I have to sit here and watch these two players just fly up and down with no no interaction at all. They just fly up and down for no reason. I would be so mad. Now, we all know from the beginning that Sparking Zero is going to be unbalanced. It's a Tenkaichi game. We already knew that. Like, Sparking Zero is going to be unbalanced. We was already going to know that. But the thing is, Bandai wanted to make this game competi competitive by adding a ranked mode and now doing these tournaments and now people are just i don't know if they're just doing this on purpose but they're obviously not being competitive in the game so i don't know the thing that irks me is like what do they do to stop this because this is like a system mechanic what do they do to stop this because you know you see by the video clip they're playing androids and androids they don't lose key by dashing so what are they going to do to stop this? Now, supposedly they're doing a December patch, which is supposedly going to patch the game and, you know, fix everything. The last patch we got, they only took care of Yajirobe, which is a good change, by the way. He was very toxic. Um, But I don't know what they're going to fix in this December patch, bro. But yeah, that's kind of looking at this clip. I ain't going to lie that. I don't know. I don't know if I do i have more faith i don't know see me i don't really play sparking zero online i try to stay away from rank as possible i mean i was just grinding like two weeks ago because i wanted to reach a rank but there was just too many you know broken stuff like fusions ui after image strike you can call that a skill issue i don't care but it was just too toxic for me and i just dropped the game because you know it just wasn't fun playing online i did not have fun at all playing online i'm not gonna lie bro and that's the main thing about sparking zero that i don't like is that everybody plays the toxic character you can call that a skill issue i don't care but see me i come from playing dbfz which is a whole different game fighting game you know traditional fighter sparking zero is an arena fighter you know dbfz it's broken but like in a sense it was like balanced i mean we still have vegeto running the meta so you know that's unfair but yeah in dbfz it was just like condent like i don't know how to explain it like sparking zero it's just dang it's us after image on broken damage on ultimates and key blast spam it's just all that built in it's just stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks while in dbfz it's just it's just like everyone has broken cheese, but it's not like overpowered in a sense. I don't know how to how to really explain it, but Spark and Zero just has like a it's just broken. You know, it's just it's just, it's just unbalanced. I don't know. It's just 
it's just unbalanced now can spark and zero be saved i mean it can obviously it obviously can all they have to do is just fix things but you know bandai they they don't really balance things around here like what do they do about this you see they're not losing key they're building skill points like what do they do against this what do you do bro what do you do bro what do you do about this like this is not fun to watch it's not cool bro they're not even engaging bro they're just i don't know like sparking zero's main problem is just like actually there's like two problems the broken stuff and it's just people just abusing like the toxic mechanics bro of this game bro plus i can get like into like a whole breakdown of sparking zero but i mean let me know if you guys want to see that but i don't know i don't hate sparking zero it's just these are my thoughts like right now i don't think this game is in like a good place for competitive you know tournaments and stuff like that because you know bandai actually put in a, um, a rank mode so they actually want this game to be like competitive they did a whole tournament for this game and they they obviously want this to be competitive but as of right now this game is not competitive at all it's more like a party game if that makes sense bro but i know this video has been very negative but i just want to say i don't hate sparking zero i actually love the game it's just the online and the community it's just very very toxic because i go on there i get hit by after image strike then i complain on twitter like oh my god after image strike needs to be needs to be nerfed but then people just say i'm bad at the game skill issue i i don't hate sparking zero okay i just hate the community and the online mode that's it i ain't gonna lie but sparking zero the latest tournament was really really weird really toxic and i hope they can actually just balance this game bro that december patch i hope they could fix it bro because i ain't gonna lie if they don't bro we might be might be in real trouble i ain't gonna lie bro but uh yeah let me know what you guys think about this tournament bro leave a like or something like that if you enjoyed this video you know a little discussion video but um yeah let me know if you guys want me to break down the december patch you know talk about that but um yeah thank you for tuning in and uh this has been shiesty and uh i'll catch you guys next time